I'm Benjamin. Pray these videos encourage you and strengthen you. If they are, please share and like. What a gift. What an honor to get to do this. And we had a very powerful message. And we are in the book of Ezekiel 34. And we are going to be reading verses 15, 16, and 17. And tomorrow is going to be a good one. And then we're going to come back, finish up with Ezekiel. So we're going to do probably a total of six verses in this book. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be in book of Matthew. Uh, you know, it's going to go really good together when Jesus was here. And uh, glory to God. Amen. He gets all the praise, all the glory for who I am and who I'm becoming. I do not take this for granted. And I love him so much. And I know without a doubt, I can do nothing in this flesh. His Holy Spirit is so beautiful, so powerful. I adore him. I love him. And I love Jesus so much. And we need to see him. We need him so bad. And, uh, it's a true gift and honor. But anyway, check out www.hartonbrotherscrafts.com, all lowercase. Uh, anyway, that's a 24 ounce, uh, but they make, I think, like a 30 or 33. But anyway, check them out. But let's open up in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, you are so beautiful, Jesus. What you did for us, you laid your life down, made that pathway for us to get to flee from darkness, to get to come to the, to the light, to the truth that you made everything here. You made everybody. Father, you made everything on this earth. Only you can open up eyes and ears. And I know these videos are encouraging, strengthening. And that's what it's about. It's about lifting each other up and letting your light shine. So come, speak to your people today. Let them hear from you. Let them see how perfect and wonderful. So much grace and love for us. That's why you came here, Jesus, to lay your life down and make that pathway. And you are the perfect shepherd. Without you, I can do nothing. Your beauty is so radiant. And everything that I see when I walk outside now, birds and trees, the wind, bugs, animals. They have your imprint in them. You are everywhere out here. This world belongs to you. When you come back, you will crack the sky and you're going to come back. And you are going to shepherd your people. And no longer will they be on the bottom. They will be on top on that day. What a glorious day. You get to come back and we get to live the way true life was meant to be. As you are our perfect shepherd. And you're a perfect shepherd today once we see the beauty of you. And we accept you as our Lord and Savior. Come speak to your people today. I give you all the glory and praise for who I am and who I'm becoming. In Jesus Christ's name. All glory and praise goes to you. Amen. What a powerful message we are in. And we are going to start in verses, I said, 15, 16, and 17 in Ezekiel 34 in the Old Testament before Jesus came. But anyway, let's read. I myself will tend my sheep and I will have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. Wow, so powerful. When he returns, he is going to claim Israel. That is his people. And he is going to call them back home. It's so powerful, so beautiful. And he will sit over there on his throne, King David's throne. And he is going to be their shepherd. No longer would they be on the bottom. No longer. No longer. He will shepherd them. And we will have no more pains, no more hurts. That's truly how the world was meant to be. And we have some exciting, uh, you know, upcoming, you know, things that as long as I'm being led to share. Amen. Glory to God. But this is very powerful. 
He is still the perfect shepherd today, those who accept him as our Lord and Savior. But on that day when he cracks that sky, Zechariah chapter 2, the last three verses, he's going to crack the sky like a big slice of apple pie. And he's going to come down here. And he's going to come over there to Israel. And that's where his throne is, King David's throne. He will be sitting on it. He will. And he will be their perfect shepherd. He will call them back home. And matter of fact, they have been celebrating. As far as I know, they're still celebrating Jesus over there to Israel. They actually have a building, last I heard, and they are actually worshiping Jesus. Glory to God. But anyway, let's read 16. So powerful. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. Wow. So powerful. You know, it's not always easy to boast in our weaknesses, right? It's not. But that's what Jesus comes in, his Holy Spirit, where we are weak, he is strong, and he adores our weaknesses. And I'm here to say, you know, to get to hit that live button, to get to hit that record button, I do not want to take it for granted. If you're watching these videos, you are more than just a person. He laid his life down because we are precious to him. Him to give us a way to the Father to have eternal life after this. Even in our suffering here, we can come to Him. He would never leave us or forsake us. Once you have the Holy Spirit, the enemy will come to you and tell you, well, You see what you just did? No, God's mad at you. That's a lie. We, he knows we fall short. That's why He had to come, and that's why He was so perfect. No flaws. Not one time did he stumble against the enemy. So beautiful. And when he returns, he is going to take his people and he's going to shepherd them and love on them. So powerful. And we will not have to deal with darkness anymore. The enemy will go where he belongs. Amen. Glory to God. Straight to Hades. And I pray that only he can open up eyes and ears because he's still the perfect shepherd today. That's why he laid his life down so we can accept him as our Lord and Savior. And accept him as our shepherd and seek him and look to him because he is perfect. That's why he had to do it. So beautiful. But he's going to be their perfect shepherd. He's going to bring them back. But anyway, let's go on and read uh, verses. That was 15 and 16. Now we're at 17. As for you, my flock, this is what the sovereign Lord says. I will judge between one sheep and another and between rams and goats. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, knows the difference between a sheep, a ram, and a goat, what looks like a sheep. Sometimes we get fooled. But our Father in heaven knows every one of us. He knows what our hearts do. He knows how much and who loves him and adores him and cherishes him and truly looks to him. He is worthy of it to be famous for what he did for us. It's not about Benjamin. I want him to be seen. I want him to feed. His people through these videos. It's so important that we see him. In the world. You know if they're worshiping Jesus over there finally. And they will go on bent knees on that day when he cracks the sky. And they will ask for his help and he will come down here. And to me that's just one step closer. And it we live in a time now about repentance. And only he can open up eyes and ears. And if you're clicking on these videos and you haven't accepted him as your Lord and Savior, I pray in Jesus Christ's name. I know these videos are opening up eyes, Lord. Feed your people. Feed your sheep. You're the perfect shepherd still today. 
You're the only one that can open up eyes and ears, Father. Let them see the beauty of what you did, Jesus, over 2,000 years ago when you laid your life down. You said, I'm going to lay my down, my life down so you can come and accept me as your Lord and Savior. Every ounce of blood that I spill is for you, that you can come and see the beauty of what I did for you. Nothing, nothing that we did to deserve it, Father. It's because you've got so much grace and love for us. You said, I'm going to send my only begotten son down here for those to see. And if they believe and accept him as their Lord and Savior, that's the only way you can come to be with me is by accepting my only begotten son as your Lord and Savior and repent and realize we were all born as sinners. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did. Thank you, Father, for the perfect plan against the adversary. He will not win. You have the final say in every way. You are the perfect shepherd. And it's glorious, beautiful, immaculate with who you are, Jesus, the King of Kings. You will return and sit on your throne. Glory to God. And you will shepherd your, your people over there. And you will separate the sheep from the goats. And tomorrow's message is going to be powerful. It's going to pick up from today. Glory to God. I love you. I adore you. Open up eyes and ears in this world. These videos are, are disrupting the world. I believe it. I know they are helping and strengthening your people. That's what it's about. You, Jesus, not about Benjamin. In Jesus Christ's name, you get all the glory. Amen. But anyway, if that's you, he's been working on you. And he's opening your eyes and ears. And we, we, we're we all born as sinners here, okay? And you realize that now. And you want to give everything that you did from the time you were born to this very moment. And you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. And you realize that now. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Nothing we did to deserve it. Just so much love. So much grace. So precious he is. Even though he says we are precious, but to me, he is precious. He's worthy. Not even for me to get to hit the live button. He is worthy of it. And he's the one that strengthens me. He's the one that encourages me. He's the one that excites me. Even on days that I struggle, and we all do, and we will to the day he cracks that sky and come back. But once you accept him as your Lord and Savior after this life, and that's what the enemy don't want you to know. You get to live with him for eternity. Glory to God. But anyway, if that's you and he's been opening your eyes and you realize you're a sinner and you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior, we're going to go deeper. Let's pray this prayer. Dear gracious heavenly father, thank you for your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, for what he did. He laid his life down so we can accept him as our Lord and Savior. And we give you, Jesus. Every one of our sins from the time I was born to right now, I give them to you in exchange. I accept you as my Lord and Savior, so precious. In exchange, you make me white as snow. You clean me off of the filth from the enemy. And then you send me your Holy Spirit advocate that would never leave me or forsake me. Because you're the perfect shepherd. And with the perfect shepherd, you get the perfect Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're going to pray deeper. Lord, put a hunger or thirst in all of us watching this video that we just can't get enough of your beauty, enough of you, Jesus, how precious you are. Maybe it's to keep seeking in these videos. Maybe it's to keep digging in the Bible, starting in the book of John, whatever that may be, whoever these are, the new people, let them see you. In Jesus Christ's name, you get all the glory and praise. Thanks for what you did. Amen. Anyway, welcome. Brother, sister, and Christ, glory to God, so beautiful, so, so powerful what he did for us to make that pathway. And the Father said, the only way to me is by accepting my only begotten Son as your Lord and Savior, that he laid his life down so we can come through him. Glory to God. But anyway, if you're already a believer, amen. Click on these videos, share and like. It's not about me. I truly want him to be seen. He is precious. For what he did, nothing we did to deserve it. He took that beating, every ounce of that blood, carried that cross, laid his life down, and everyone accepts him. The enemy hates it, and heaven just erupts with excitement. Glory to God. But anyway, if that's you, welcome, brother or sister. And if you're already a believer, amen. It's about him, excuse me, not about me. 
Let's get the videos out and pick him up to lift him up to let people see him. That's what it's about. Glory to God. But anyway, remember, stay strong. We have some good messages in the next couple days. Amen. Glory to God. And, you know, as long as I can and as long as I'm able to, we will be hitting live buttons, hitting record for his glory, for his kingdom. He is worthy of it. But you stay strong. He sees you. He's for you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Never. Once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, he's always there. It doesn't matter what we deal with. He is opening eyes and ears like never seen before. Glory to God. But you stay strong, okay? He's got you. He sees you. Amen.